Welcome to our video on using the lift-off gain compensation on the World Check Plus. So first of all, uh, looking at the configuration, we have a lift-off gain menu. If we go into that, we can see four settings. The max height, which is the maximum screen height you'd like the defect to reach. We have a max paint thickness and a min paint thickness. Uh, optionally you can have an alarm box that will indicate when the paint thickness is not within that area and then number of points is uh, configurable uh, five is the maximum and give you a better signal and more accurate readings so from there go to the real time screen I've programmed the top blank key here with the lift off gain uh, function so I push that to begin so I'll take my probe onto my test block find a good piece away from a defect and balance. Okay, lift the probe. Probe back on. Now go over the one millimeter defect. Okay, so you turn the probe next to the one millimeter defect and the instructions press function when probe is on test block by one millimeter defect. So I press the so the red LEDs indicate nothing's happening. Press the button. So now it's looking for a peak in the signal. So I go over the defect and stop. Success. Now for the first shim, and as it says, repeat with a 0.5 millimeter shim, which is why I've just added. Put that back and repeat. So start looking over the defect and stop. Next shim, one millimeter. Over, stop. Five millimeter, and then stop. Last of all, two millimeters of shim. Record, slide, stop. Now it's configured. So the first check to do is to check that the millimeter lift off here is is uh, roughly correct. So. 2 millimeter shim, 1.90, 2.03. With that, shims are very close to zero. So now we can see the, the use of the paint uh, alarm. If I have two shims, one millimeter, or about one millimeter, we're just inside the safe zone, which we set up as between one and 1.5. If it's below that, if the paint is too thin, we have an alarm condition, or if I have two millimeters of shim where we're outside of the paint thickness area we have an alarm condition so let's get closer there we go we're safe just over a millimeter so okay now going over the defect so this side we have the defect is reaching this line here which is the 40 percent point with the shim you see that it's going slightly high we can Sort that out in a second. The reason for the signal going high is, as you can see, without a shim, the balance point is at the origin. With a shim, it suddenly starts to go high, which is an unfortunate real world situation. So we can balance just the defect channel with the bottom balance button. So now we can see as we go over the defect, we reach this line here. And as I vary the number of shims, the defect's height is pretty consistent. And unfortunately, it will be out without a shim as we have to rebalance. So there we go.